Zoom in on Rail Baltica. What is it like to build a brand new railway from an environmental perspective? We all want to live in a world that is safe and sustainable. After all, this is much more appealing than the alternative, isn't it? While the transport sector plays a vital role in our economic development, it is also the second largest greenhouse gas emitter in Europe. It is apparent that rail is the way forward. It is a healthier and cleaner alternative, both in the context of the European Green Deal and common sense. The data speaks for itself. Trains emit between 66 and 75% less carbon dioxide compared to cars and airplanes. Rail transport has also steadily reduced emissions while increasing passenger and freight capacity. So, how do we ensure that a project of such scale contributes to sustainable development in the region? We implement environmental measures, including those in accordance with Natura 2000 guidelines to minimize the impact on nature. Natura 2000 is a network of protected areas covering the most valuable and threatened species and habitats in the EU. To keep natural environments intact, Rail Baltica site investigations include geological assessments as well as biodiversity monitoring, encompassing mammals and birds, vegetation and landscape specifics. Throughout the design phase, every solution is evaluated from an environmental perspective, taking into account noise and vibrations, animal migration and other environmental aspects. We carried out comprehensive studies and analysed mammal movement in the area. The result? Along the 870 kilometres of Rail Baltica Railway, you'll find numerous wildlife passages and tunnels where animals, large and small, can safely move across the tracks. Conspicuous noise barriers and dampers will also be introduced to reduce noise and vibration levels. The environmental requirements are strict, extending to fine details such as rainwater and waste management during construction, minimizing noise, vibration and dust pollution, and even fertile soil reuse. We also ensure that the landscape is recultivated to its previous condition as much as possible by replanting relevant vegetation. For instance, we are creating amphibian ponds in Lithuania, we are planning to compensate for bird nesting areas in Estonia, and we will relocate freshwater pearl mussels before construction over rivers in Latvia. And even after Rail Baltica is constructed, we will continue monitoring its environmental aspects for at least three years. We eagerly anticipate a greener future in the Baltics. Do you?